So why do we adapt? Why is hedonic adaptation even a thing? Just to recap, put simply, hedonic adaptation is the tendency to return to a baseline level of contentment, no matter how good or bad things get. So that new job, the renovated kitchen, even falling in love, all of it eventually becomes ordinary. And frustrating as that can feel, there is a reason why it happens. Hedonic adaptation isn't tied to any specific attitude object. It's a general purpose drive. It's a motivational system that evolved to keep us moving. In the unpredictable world of the savannah, survival depended on vigilance. Food wouldn't last. Shelter might be lost. A partner might not stay. So nature didn't reward contentment, it rewarded persistence. The people who kept searching, who kept striving, wanting just that little bit more were the ones who survived. And crucially, they passed that restless motivation onto their descendants, us. That predisposition that helped them survive became part of our psychological inheritance. So it's entirely normal then that we still want more, more comfort, more recognition, a more attractive partner, a better phone, a new challenge. These impulses aren't moral failings. They're echoes of our biology. But what makes us different is the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain responsible for planning, reflection, and self-restraint. It allows us to imagine futures, to weigh consequences, and pause before we act. Now, our ancestors had one too, but theirs wasn't as developed as ours. Over time, this part of the brain has evolved to become more sophisticated and it gives us a greater capacity to regulate our behavior and to notice our desires without automatically following them. But the interesting thing is this capacity comes at a cost. The executive brain is energy intensive. It's slow and it doesn't work well when we're tired, when we're anxious, when we're overwhelmed or stretched too thin. In those moments, we revert to older systems, the fast automatic ones that just want more. The key here is if we're serious about resisting the constant pull to consume or achieve, it's not just about willpower. It's about creating the conditions, things like rest, nourishment, calm, that allow the thinking brain to do its job. Mm -hmm.